solo. Not objective mode, I do that every time. Killing floor. We just did Siren's Belch. It is now time for Snow Globe. No, I'm just kidding. It's time for Steam Land. I don't know what the hell Snow Globe is, but we're not doing it. It's probably a random custom map that I downloaded a million years ago, and the Steam Cloud just keeps popping it back into my file folder. Steam Land. One of the uh, maps that... Actually, the map that came out when I first started playing this game. The summer of... The summer slideshow, I think, or sideshow, whatever. Summer sideshow. Ah, those were the days. Oh, my God. Those were the days. Fuck me. That was so long ago. That was a decade ago for me. It may have come out before a decade ago, but I don't know. I remember it being the summer sideshow event when I started playing the game. So, I'm not sure what year that was. They're everywhere! Ah. And they are spawning like crazy around here. Damn, that was like the fastest wave ever. I Holy like shit. Man, they spawned everywhere. So, Steamland's a really great map, and it's got a lot of little clown thingies that you can you can kill. Um, just like Siren's Belch had the beer steins, you know, if you want to waste 30 minutes of your life or something, pull up a guide. Uh, kill, kill clowns. Um, but also has a very, very, very broken spot that you can hold in this game, or in this map, that um, is very cheaty and very broken. Again, I'll say it again. Super broken. Uh, to the point where it's it's practically impossible nearly to lose if you hold here. It's right here. You literally just hold right here with your uh, your back to this crate or something. Or you can hold anywhere really right here, but you don't hold beyond the crate. You hold on this side of the crate. And nothing will come from behind. And if shit gets overwhelming here, you, all you have to do is go over here to this side and then they start coming from this side. And they won't come from behind. Let me, should, let me give you an example. You see that guy? See, look. Go over here. Now, if they, if they see you and follow you close enough to the uh, other side, it won't work. Because there is a limit to it, but... It's practically foolproof. I can't see a goddamn thing. There's always a crawler, though. Hiding in the fire. Like, see how they're, uh, see how they're going the other way there? Can't see a damn thing because of the brightness of the fire. I have no idea what that grenade... Oh, perfect. It actually landed right where I wanted it to. The spot will even work on the Patriarch if you're quick enough, but you have to be quick enough to make it work. By that, what I mean is, if, if you go over here... See how he turns around and goes the other way? That's because he has to go all the way around to get to me. I go back this way, he's going to come back this way. I go this way. He's going to be like, oh, wait, I can't. Oh, yeah, yeah, I see. Okay, sometimes it doesn't work. 90% of the time, it works 100% of the time. Oh, my God. This, gore, this, gore, this guy's just broken, though. That's obviously why he didn't work. He's not right in the head. It works most of the time. Let's put it that way. Damn, this is a far traitor. I kind of wish I had been there already. I thought it was this traitor, not that traitor. We're going to be um, commando, I think, for this patriarch. It's its turn for commando to do it again. We may have to try to use that spot for commando to kill the patriarch, but we'll see. He might still charge and, and get to us anyways. Make your mind up quick, boys. Uh, 
Let's see. We'll sell the flame. We'll buy the trench. Maybe Shame, if it lets guardian. us. But even you can't carry that much. Sell those. Buy that. Repair armor. And we're good. Now, hiding steam land. Super fun. Super easy. Big giant map. It's, it's a it's a circle with a perfect obstacle in the middle that the Zeds can't get beyond. That's some good stuff uh, I sold you. Put it to good use. This is not the way you're supposed to go, though. You're supposed to go this way. Kill her quick before she owns her god. Well, this is the way I do it, anyways. You're not supposed to do it anyway. You can do it however you want. I normally go this way, though. I don't normally go around to the back side of the pier because they get stuck and then they'll all just come back around this way. But this is pretty much it. It's just a circle. There's, there's like a lake in the middle here, or a little, not even a lake, but like a pond or some crap that they, they can't come through. So you can't get cut off in the middle by going too fast. Moved, so look out for me. But you can kill enough of them to make them spawn in front of you, like this siren and all these clots just did. So you will get some stuff in front of you, but normally, normally not a lot. It's tolerable. But yeah, this is this is Steamland in a nutshell. It's it's a very good, very fun map. I love it. This is one of those maps I'm kind of shocked they didn't put in Killing Floor 2. Like they didn't remake it. Uh, I mean, they have like obviously they have like tribute maps, kind of like Abusement Park and whatnot. But I don't know. I feel like they could have really done themselves a favor by putting some the really good classic maps in, like like this and. Uh, some version of um, manor. These guys are slow. Come on, dude. Still on Earth, right? Hello. So yeah, Steamland, not that bad. Kiting it is usually pretty pretty fun and not a huge hassle to deal with. Um, hmm, I'm trying to think. Really, I don't really know the best place to start. I, I guess if you wanted to be super tryhard, you could start over there, get them all to spawn and go around to that side and then cut back on that side of that crate like I was talking about. That would force them all to take the long way back around and you would have a huge mess of them already in front of you. I feel like starting like right here is probably okay. Because it gives you multiple outs. Uh, you can start here. You're going to be going this way, but if a flesh pound spawns like there, you can cut left and just go like through here, or you can go up and around. There's more than one way to skin a cat. Here's this middle section I was talking about that works as a really good buffer. I see there's the flesh pound there, so he's going to go around. There he is. So a lot of them have already spawned. I, you know, I, I think I've never considered this, but I really do think that maybe they this, on Steamland, like all the Zeds just spawn way faster as a whole, like to get up to the max spawn limit. Whereas other maps, sometimes it takes, you know, upwards of 30 seconds or so for all 32 of them to spawn. I don't know. It seems like they like all spawn crazy fast though. You can use this to break line of sight. Oh, there's a map here. I never noticed that. I never looked at it anyways. Is 
Again, you gotta be careful of how many you kill, because they will spawn in front of you up here. Make your life kind of miserable. Like a bunch of crawlers just did, I can hear them. Or a crawler. A two, two crawler. It's annoying. Like I said you gotta be aware of uh, how many you kill, you gotta be aware of you know, if the Flesh Pound can see you, are you resetting his, his Rage Timer by breaking line of sight or letting him swing at you? There's all kinds of things you have to kind of keep your keep your brain on, keep keeping track of stiff. But it's not that bad if you know what you're doing. You're, really just, you're just running in a circle making left turns. It's, it's damn near just NASCAR. With, with slightly more guns. A siren in front of us, I hear. No. I thought I heard a siren, but I'm just crazy. Now at this point, if you want to just kind of go this way, when you know when you're getting low on Zeds, you can just go straight down here and you know go left if you'd like. There's really all the ways in the world to go about you know completing a lap here. That Scrake is mad. Yeah, they're not really bunching up like I would want them to either. They're kind of all scattered at this point. Look at them run. Ah, oh, damn. I thought I had him with two shots. What? Why? I swear I think flesh pounds just troll us sometimes with how they move. Doing shit like that. Like, what's that? Oh, you want to kite me? I'm going to immediately just walk backwards for no reason. That hit me? Oh, there's a tent behind me. There's a crawler over here. Hello? Ow! Okay, so we have to be commando for this traitor, or patriarch. That sucks eggs, because probably means we're going to lose. Probably. But, so as to give myself the best chance possible, we are going to put some pipe bombs down and... Hopefully, he will step on them. Because otherwise, I don't stand a snowball's chance in hell, probably, of beating him. Let's see. Commando. Two pipe bombs. F and foul. Yeah, you know what? Fine. I got the money. We'll just buy another gun. We'll have a scar. Okay. Rar. Rar. All right. Beep, 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 beep. I hear him. He's coming this way. Kind of. He's going up. Rawr. Hmm, wonderful charge on me. He 
did. No, don't do it. No. No, not the clots. No. Oh, fuck. <laughs> uh, he had like, he had like no health. Oh, well. You know what? That's fine. I figured that would happen. Uh, I didn't know exactly where to put those pipe bombs. Because I knew he would come around that corner, but I didn't know if he would hug the inside corner or not. And he did not. So he saw me before the pipe bombs could go off. He charged and ran over the pipe bombs. And basically the pipe bombs did no damage. Which is just part of it. Anyway, I'm not too worried about that. Next is Stronghold and then Suburbia. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven to go. I swear I said seven last time when I counted them. And maybe I skipped one. Either way, that'll do it for this one. Thanks for watching.